Hey, what is going on, you guys? It's RocketS54 here, and uh, I got another story for you guys today. Um, uh, I'm just going to say the subject is movies in school. That's all I'm going to say for now. Um, but yeah, uh, guys, I'm sorry that this is going up a day late. I know this is up going up on Saturday right now. Like This was supposed to go up yesterday on Friday because I do a life story every Friday, and I'm sorry for that. It's just like... Like, my thoughts took over my mind, and, you know, I basically didn't uh, get this story done. I didn't record it yesterday. I recorded the gameplay, like, on Thursday or something like that. But, yeah, like, you know, I did not, like, do a story yesterday because, like, I didn't record it. I didn't upload it because, like, I, like, was doing other things. And, um, so, yeah, as I said, um, subject is school stories, and you'll notice some GTA 5 gameplay in the background, uh, I know that I've just been doing a lot of Black Ops 3 gameplay, so I decided to take a break from that and uh, do some GTA 5 uh, gameplay, obviously in GTA Online. Um, I just decided to do that because, you know, like, you, you got to change up the gameplay every once in a while. I'll try to mix up the gameplay probably, like, maybe, like, a different game every, uh, probably, like, a different game every um, Life Story video, but... Yeah, so having some GTA 5 gameplay in the background, hopefully it's a nice change from the Black Ops 3 gameplay. But yeah, as I said, the uh, subject is movies in school. And again, guys, um, leave a like if you do enjoy these stories because it really helps me out when you leave a like. It just makes my day, and it shows me that you guys like the story. So please leave a like if you do enjoy the video. So anyway, let's get started. As I said, the subject, like as I said for like the third time, the subject is movies in school. And um, basically... Uh, now, guys, I wasn't even really here, I don't think, when this took place, because the time when this happened, I don't think I was actually at school, because I'm just going by what my friends told me, and the thing is, if I was there, I either don't remember it, or I wasn't in the room when this happened, but, um, yeah, like, cause, like but my guess is I don't think I was there that day. Like, like, if I had to choose one of the, t like, if I had to choose one of the two theories I had, I would choose that. I don't think I was there that day, because I don't remember this at all. But, um, basically, so this happened last year when I was in eighth grade, and basically, um, basically last year in eighth grade, this is how our schedule looked on Fridays. Well, how my class's schedule looked, because... The class I was in last year, um, the class next, my class and the class next door to us pretty much were the exact same class, just a different, uh, homeroom teacher, because basically, um, my main teacher, my main homeroom teacher taught us, um, social studies, um, social studies, English, gym, and health, and, uh, the teacher next door to us taught us math and science, and then we had a teacher for art, like a different teacher for art. And then um, for one term, because we had uh, three other subjects, but it was one different for each term because there were three terms. For one term, we had a different teacher for woodshop. For one term, we had a teacher for um, business ed. And then for another term, we had a, for another term, we had a uh, teacher for home ec. So basically, um, basically how our schedule looked on Friday was, and yes, I actually still remember this to this day. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I still can't believe I actually remember my schedule on Fridays from last year, but basically the way that our schedule looked on Fridays was, um, and the thing is, like, in my middle school and my high school, you get off an hour early on Fridays, which is awesome, and, uh, so basically, like, my, uh, basically the way my schedule looked on Fridays was, first I had English, then I had math, then I had recess, then I had, then after recess I had gym, and then I had science, and then I had lunch, and then after lunch we had this thing called tutorial. Now, if you weren't in um, my eighth grade class or the class next to it, then you won't have a clue what tutorial is. Basically, tutorial in my eighth grade class was pretty much like a study block. Like You pretty much get some time, you know, to like uh, do, like any catch up on any work you're missing, um, you know, like, or if you're done everything, you can read, or you can draw, or you can basically do whatever you want, basically, in that block, like, but, you know, the main folk, the main reason for it was, you know, to catch up on any work that you, that you're missing, um, so basically, now, this happened during that tutorial block, 
And what happened was, in my class, I really don't think I was there for the, to this story, but I really wish I was, because that would have been even funnier if I could have seen it. I'm just going by uh, what my friends told me. Um, so, uh, apparently, like, I don't even remember what month this was. As I said, I don't remember anything from this. If I was there, I either didn't remember anything, and I was in the room, or I wasn't in the room, and it did happen, or I just wasn't there, because I'm pretty sure I wasn't there. But anyway, apparently, um, during that tutorial block, <laughs> um, one of my friends, and, um, you know, we're going to come up with a name for this friend. We're going to call him Lewis. So basically, Lewis recommended to my math and science teacher, because Lewis wasn't actually in my class. Lewis was in the class next door to mine, because, you know, like, um, basically, if you were in, whether you were in my class or you were in the class next door to my class, then it, the, the classes looked pretty much the same, except, you know, different blocks. Like, you know, um, you had, like, different schedules, and, um, you know, you had a different homeroom teacher. But, you know, other than that, like, the classes were pretty much exactly the same. Like, exact same teachers teaching the exact, the exact same things. But anyway, so Lewis wasn't in my actual class. He was in the class next to mine. So Lewis recommends to his teacher, who is my math and science teacher, Lewis recommends to his teacher that during the tutorial block that she put it on 21 Jump Street, <laughs> not the TV show, the movie, you know, um, if you don't know what 21 Jump Street is, or if you haven't seen it, where the hell have you been? Like, 21 Jump Street is an awesome movie, and the sequel's even better, so if you guys have not seen 21 Jump Street, you are seriously missing out. Please go watch it if you have not seen it. It's on Netflix, I think. Yeah, it's on Netflix, and, ju ju like, just go watch it. It's just an awesome movie. I've seen it at least 15 times, because it's so good, but, um, yeah, so basically, Lewis recommended to the teacher that she put it on 21 Jump Street. Um, and, now guys, if you guys have seen that movie, then you'll know that <laughs> that's not exactly the greatest movie to put on when you're in class. Um, now, the thing is, like, the, like I know guys that the rating system here in Canada, because I live in Canada, I know the rating system in Canada is different than the rating system in the U.S., so a lot of the movies that are rated R in the United States are rated 14 and up here, and 21 Jump Street's one of them. Like, it has to be, like, a pretty hard R, 18, like, a pretty hard R movie in the States for it to be rated 18A here, such as uh, Super Bad or Straight Outta Compton or That's My Boy, a movie like that. And all of those are rated 18A here, but... Basically, so, you know, like, 21 Jump Street, it is rated 14 and up here. I know it's rated R in the U.S., but... Anyway, the teacher logs onto her Netflix account because this teacher had Netflix, and she uh, logs onto her Netflix and she searches it up and puts it on. I guess she didn't even read the rating, or maybe if she did, she, I guess she thought it was fine. But anyway, so Lewis recommends to the teacher that she put it on Twenty One Jump Street, so she did. And apparently, the teacher was in the room for most of it. well, not for most of it, for like some of it. Um, according to my friends, the teacher was just, like, the teacher wasn't even really watching it. She was just, like, on her computer, kind of watching it. Um, because she put it, like, on her laptop, but she was just, like, on her main computer, kind of watching it. And so, basically what she did, like, uh, she, according to my friends, uh, she stayed for the movie until they actually went undercover in the movie. If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. Um, so basically she stayed until they went undercover and then she left for a really long time to go do something and so then you know it was kind of near the end of class and uh and so you know it was uh it was the end of class and uh now this was really funny what actually happened so the teacher walks in kind of near the end of the block and this is what where it gets really funny if you guys have seen the movie let me know in the comments below what you think which part she walked in. I'm not sure. I don't think you'll... Well, there's about a 50-50 chance I think you guys are going to be able to guess it. If you guys remember this small little clip from it. But, um, yeah, it's like, leave your guys' guesses. That was a really stupid idea there. But leave your guys' guesses in the comments below um, to see, like, like, just leave a guess on which part you think the teacher walked in at. So... Leave your guesses and...
You done? You done putting your guess in? Okay, good. So then what happens is, so as I said, the teacher um, walks in and it was at the it was at the party scene, like you know when uh, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum are having a party at Jonah Hill's house, and so, uh, like and you know like uh, Jonah Hill is uh, showing a uh, is showing a uh, Brie Larson and Dave Franco where every where like he's giving them a tour of his house, and he says um and uh and he's like yeah and he, so then he opens the door. So, like, he um, opens the door, and uh, apparently the teacher, because in, in the movie, it shows, like, people having a threesome in the movie, and the teacher walked in right at that part, and then she was like, oh my god, and then apparently she played it back, like, twice, and then she says to Lewis, it's like, Lewis, you think this is appropriate for school? And she played it back like twice. And was like, Lewis, you really think this is appropriate for school? <laughs> but apparently she wasn't even really that mad at Lewis for it. But I just thought this was extremely funny. I really wish I was there to see it or if I at least remembered it. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that story. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy it. I do have another story about another movie in class. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more content. And remember, you guys, whenever watching movies in class, say no to drugs.